Hey, good morning, everyone. Trackman44 here. Hey, you know, everybody makes a mistake, and, you know, I'll be the first one to admit whenever I'm wrong, and uh, boy, was I ever wrong. The video you're going to see today, I identify a log and saw the log as though it's persimmon the whole time thinking, you know, this doesn't seem right, this doesn't seem right, but I was convinced that it was persimmon because of the, uh, the rough bark and everything was on it. It didn't have any particular smell one way or another, but I've also had a mental block when it comes to identifying persimmon and sassafras. Well, I put a version of this video up on TikTok. Uh, yeah, of course, I've got a TikTok channel. <laughs> but uh, um, I got my hat handed to me, you know, pretty quick. It definitely is sassafras. Uh, the fact that it cut so quickly so and was so light and so easy on the saw was kind of questioning as I was actually sawing. But those guys confirmed over on TikTok, guys that know a much more about wood than myself, confirmed this is definitely sassafras. So when you watch the video coming up in just a few seconds, <laughs> remember, I t call it persimmon, but it ain't persimmon. It is sassafras. Here's a sample of the rough, craggly bark that I had skinned off of it, and that's what I was going by to determine that it was uh, persimmon. But uh, I probably should have known better, but there still is no smell, no particular smell. But then again, this tree's been cut and down for a while, too. So I went over to the log pile and rolled out what I know is definitely a, uh, a dual persimmon growth right here. And you can see the rough and craggly bark. But when setting side by side with the bark that I took off of that other tree over there, which is obviously a sassafras, you can definitely tell the difference. So there you go. There's the admission of my error, my mistake. And so, yeah, just go ahead and watch the video and just enjoy how nice that sassafras is going to look. <laughs> Got a chunk of persimmon here on the sawmill. It was 16 foot long. You just continued in a but big arch so if i left in 16 foot i wouldn't get hardly anything out of it so i cut, cut it exactly in half this has been down for several years but i think it's a pretty solid log but we'll find out Well, we ended up with a couple of live edge one inch pieces here. And up here ended up with just three one by sixes and then a real nice full two inch uh, two by six. Actually six and a quarter. And then a uh, one by five here. Now this is some really clear. Some of this is really pretty clear. Make some good shelves. Of course, you're not gonna build shelves that are eight foot long. You know, so you have to cut out a little bit of the bag right there. And of course, the one by five has a little bit of uh, right here. So we'll get a we'll get a nice portion right through here. That's going to look really, really, really nice.
be a nice chunk for something. Oh yeah, and we still have the other eight footer over here. That's a smaller end, but it'll probably uh, probably be okay. And I gotta admit, it was very easy sawing. This saw just about as easy as what that pine was uh, that we cut just the other day. The pine was green. This is still fairly green, but it's been down on the ground for a while. But uh, this is gonna make some good uh, shelf material for the missus. I think she's gonna really enjoy the color. And I got a nice two inch piece back here. I don't know, we'll come up with something for that. At any rate, you know what? That's the end of this one here, and this is Tractor Man 44, and I'm out of here, guys.